In the middle of the California desert, there's a place so secretive it's become a magnet for rumors, conspiracies, and cutting-edge science. It's called Skunk Works, and for decades, this shadowy division of Lockheed Martin has been creating machines that sound more like science fiction than reality. These aren't just planes, these are technological miracles. Jets that can outrun missiles, spy planes that can photograph entire countries from the edge of space, and aircraft that vanish into thin air. But here's the real question. How did a ragtag group of engineers in a makeshift tent pull off the impossible? This is the story of Skunk Works. The story begins during the chaos of World War II. By 1943, the Nazis were flying the Messerschmitt Mi-262, the world's first operational jet fighter. The US military was caught off guard. If they didn't respond fast, the skies over Europe would belong to Germany. This is where Clarence Kelly Johnson comes in. He was a 33-year-old engineer at Lockheed with a reputation for bucking tradition and getting results. Johnson had already helped design the P-38 Lightning a fighter so advanced it earned the nickname Fork-Tailed Devil. But what came next was unlike anything he'd ever done before. The military came to Lockheed with a desperate mission, build America's first jet fighter. They didn't want it in years, they wanted it in months. So Johnson set up a secret division inside Lockheed, separate from everyone else. The team worked out of a rented circus tent right next to a foul-smelling plastics factory. Someone jokingly compared it to the Skunk Works in a popular comic strip, Lil Abner, and the name stuck. Within 143 days, just five months, Johnson's team delivered the P-80 Shooting Star. It became the US's first operational jet fighter, changing the game for air combat in World War II. That speed, secrecy, and innovation. It became the DNA of Skunk Works, but Johnson didn't stop at building planes he created an entire way of working. He wrote down 14 rules, simple, almost obvious, but revolutionary at the time. Things like keep your team small, cut through the bureaucracy, make sure every engineer talks directly to the customer, and trust your people. At Skunk Works, the focus was always on speed and simplicity. No giant committees, no endless paperwork, just a small team of geniuses working in total secrecy to solve impossible problems. And then there are the projects, because Skunk Works didn't just build planes, they built legends, machines that redefined what was possible, not just in aviation, but in warfare itself. The first big test came during the Cold War. By the 1950s, the US desperately needed a way to spy on the Soviet Union. Satellites weren't advanced enough, and flying over enemy territory was suicide, at least for ordinary planes. Skunk Works created the U-2, a plane that could fly at 70,000 feet, so high it was practically in space. The U-2 could photograph entire countries in a single flight, giving the U.S. an unprecedented look behind the Iron Curtain. It was so successful, it's still in use today, more than 60 years later. But then came the Blackbird. This wasn't just a plane, it was a missile with wings, a jet that could fly at Mach 3 or three times the speed of sound. The SR-71 was untouchable. If enemy radar detected it, the Blackbird simply outran the missile. And here's the kicker. The Blackbird was made almost entirely of titanium, a material the US had to secretly buy from the Soviet Union. Think about that. Skunk Works built the fastest plane in history using materials from their arch rival. But maybe their most famous creation is the F-117 Nighthawk, the world's first stealth aircraft. Before this, radar worked like a flashlight in a dark room. If you were in the beam, you were spotted. The F-117 changed everything. Its angular design deflected radar signals away, making it virtually invisible. In the Gulf War, the F-117 flew into the most heavily defended airspace in the world and wasn't detected once. This wasn't just a plane, it was a ghost. Here's the thing about Skunk Works. It thrives on secrecy. And with secrecy comes rumors. 
the Aurora, the SR-72, hypersonic drones, black triangles. These are just some of the names whispered about Skunk Works' alleged projects. Are they real? Maybe, maybe not. But the fact that we don't know, that's exactly how Skunk Works wants it. Today, Skunk Works is pushing even further hypersonic weapons, artificial intelligence, and space technology. The future of warfare is being built right now, and chances are it's being built here. Skunk Works isn't just a lab, it's a legend, a reminder that sometimes the most incredible ideas come from the most secretive places, and as long as they're around, the skies will always hold a few secrets of their own.